know why. Why hasn't he come forth with the bail? There's something curious about all of this. You can say that again. Curious. Take a look at this autopsy report. What? I... Are you sure this is right? Positive. Montclair's death was unrelated to any blows to his body. But that means... <laughs> that means we may have the wrong man in that cell. Coma and morbidity induced by insulin? That's right. Montclair died from a powerful overdose of insulin. Well, we knew he was diabetic. We found all those insulin vials in his refrigerator. Yeah, but if he's been injecting himself for years, why would it suddenly affect him adversely? Now, I said overdose. Now, if he had taken a normal size injection, it would have worked itself out in his body chemically. We wouldn't have found any trace. But we did find some. And this drop in his blood sugar level was so precipitous, that was the giveaway. It was hyper, hypoglycemia, and irreversible coma. It was brain dead hours before he actually stopped breathing. Wait a minute, you're telling me he gave himself an overdose of his own medication? What, are we, are we talking about a possible suicide here? Well, it's possible. Well, maybe it was accidental. He gives himself a shot and the phone rings. Ten minutes later, uh, he forgets that he took it and gives himself another pop. I do that with vitamin pills. No, long-term diabetics don't make that mistake. That's why they're called long-term. This is a fatal disease unless you are really careful. Mm. And Montclair was really careful up until that last dose. Yeah, well, he wasn't really careful maybe about his acquaintances. Hold it, hold it. Is it possible that someone tampered with this medication? That's certainly possible. Now, does insulin, does it come in uh, different strengths? Well, not over the counter, but a, a chemist could alter the strength, sure. 500 units would look just like 100. Wouldn't be recognizable to the human eye. Who else beside his landlady would have easy access to his refrigerator? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Try this on, okay? Charka goes in, beats Monty to a bloody pulp, leaves him alive but bloodied. Exit trucker. Enter mysterious needle man. Sees unconscious Monty, gives him the shot of insulin, the fatal shot of insulin, and goodbye, Monty. Which takes trucker off the hook. Well, maybe, maybe that's what Trucker wants us to think. Okay, listen, he goes in there, beats the guy up just to cover the fatal shot of insulin. What do you think, Sherlock? Eh, it's too neat. It's too clever for Trucker. Yeah, but it's not too clever for Mrs. Trucker. Come on, maybe that's how she understood the scene of the crime so well. 